Here are some of the weirdest things people actually believe in. Number 9. Body Earthers Earthing is a practice of connecting the body with Earth. By touching skin to a conductive material such as grass, preferably wet, wet sand, a river, lake, or sea. According to body earthers, we're simply not spending enough time with our bare feet in wet grass or wet sand. Basically, we need to hang out with Earth more. Body earthers theorize that an overabundance of free radicals within our bodies can lead to diabetes, cancer, inflammation, and all sorts of other ailments. While some antioxidant-possessing foods can counteract free radicals, Earthers say that we're missing out on one of the most vital antioxidants of all, the Earth. Okay, I'm not as touchy-feely as these guys, but what I can say is you definitely feel a different way after staying indoors all the time and then stepping outside for some fresh air. Anyways, according to these guys, the Earth can transfer positive electrons into the body, and these electrons have the ability to neutralize potentially harmful free radicals. The ball of the foot is the ideal area to absorb the electrons, since it connects to all the acupuncture meridians and essentially connects to every nook and cranny of your body. But just being in general contact with the ground is beneficial. Ancient people regularly walked and slept on the earth. It's thought by earthers that our rubber-soled shoes, concrete, and skyscrapers have all led to detrimental health effects by limiting our exposure to natural ground. Okay, I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say it's not that, but our diet. Number 8. Psychic Surgery Somehow, some way, psychic surgery is big business around the world, especially in the Philippines and Brazil. I'm not even sure why they'd even bother calling it surgery, but hey, why not? Typically, these surgeons will place their hands on a patient's abdomen, make an incision with their finger, and push or contort that person's skin as if they were actually reaching inside the body. There's a lot of trickery involved, as well as theatrics in order to, I guess, make the person believe that they're actually getting surgery. The healer pretends to dig his hands into the patient's body and pretends to pull out tumors that are essentially actual animal parts. Then the practitioner would clean the area and then end the procedure with the patient's skin showing no wounds or scars. Most cases obviously don't involve actual surgery, although some practitioners make real incisions, which is, uh, yeah. I hope this doesn't happen to any of you. In regions of the world where belief in evil spirits is prevalent, practitioners will sometimes pretend to pull out objects, such as glass, explaining that the foreign bodies were placed in the patient's body by evil spirits. Hmm, so essentially these guys are magicians. Medical professionals and skeptics like myself classify this practice as sleight of hand, and any positive results from this quote-unquote surgery as a placebo effect. Number 7. Pyramid Power Pyramid power refers to the belief that the ancient Egyptian pyramids and objects of similar shape have power and that that power can do wonders for you. Huh. Some people claim that so-called pyramid power can preserve food, keep razor blades sharp, improve health, and much more. Supposedly, the ancient Egyptians knew about these paranormal forces and used the geometric shape to their own advantage. And of course, that's why the pyramids were built. Advocates contend that Egyptologists found well-preserved grain and entire meals within the tombs, which, despite being over 5,000 years old, were better preserved than anything kept for a few months in modern storage. Yeah, I'd like to see the evidence myself on this one. There's virtually no scientific evidence proving the power of pyramids, but that hasn't stopped supporters from sleeping under pyramids, storing food under pyramids, or living in pyramids. Oh yeah, and of course, they even create smaller models of pyramids and keep them around the house. Number 6. The End of the World Apocalypticism is the religious belief that there's gonna be an apocalypse a term which originally referred to a revelation of God's will, but now usually refers to the belief that the end of the world is coming, and it's coming soon. This belief comes hand in hand with the idea that humans will soon come to an abrupt end because some sort of catastrophic global event. There's basically one doomsday prediction each year. Okay, I definitely made that up, but you guys get my point. 
One big point of mass hysteria was the coming of the new millennium. I mean, the year 2000 is just a random number at a point in time. However, one real fear that definitely had a bit of uncertainty was the big Y2K bug that was supposed to affect computers. Nobody was really sure what would happen on January 1st, 2000, and the fear was that computers wouldn't understand the year 00, reading it as 1900 instead of 2000. Presumably, this would have caused many industries to collapse. What was certain was that the end of civilization wasn't coming to an end just because of three zeros after a number. A similar thing happened on the 21st of December back in 2012, the same day when the Mayan calendar came to an end. Well, it's 2018 now, and we're still here, whether you like it or not. Number 5. Fake Moon Landing You guys know of some people that believe the moon landing was fake, right? The general idea behind most moon landing conspiracy theories is that the landing was faked on a soundstage with actors, a set, and professional lighting taking the place of the real deal. There are all kinds of articles and videos dedicated to this argument, and plenty of evidence dedicated to debunking the theory too. I mean, you can pretty much think through the logic of why it's pretty much impossible in your head. It would have been much harder to fake the landing on Earth than it would have been to actually go to the moon. In fact, in 1969, it would have been impossible. There are a few key reasons for this. But really, the easiest one would be that if NASA had to keep the secret from the public, the organization would have had to keep a huge number of employees from telling the truth of a fake landing. And to keep so many people quiet is pretty much impossible. But you know what? Whatever people need to believe to get them through the day. Number 4. Reptilian. Have you guys ever heard of reptilians? Reptilians are supposedly all around us, and we don't even know it. The idea of reptilians was popularized by David Icke, a conspiracy theorist who claims shape-shifting reptilian aliens control Earth by taking on human form and gaining political power to manipulate human societies. Yep, I'll take an ounce of what he's smoking. Icke has claimed on multiple occasions that many of the world leaders are, or are possessed by, so-called reptilians. Reptilians supposedly include Queen Elizabeth, George W. Bush, Henry Kissinger, Bill and Hillary Clinton, and Bob Hope. Encroaching on other conspiracy theorists' territory, Ike even claims that the lizards are behind secret societies such as the Freemasons and the Illuminati. Hey, why not? Just connect them all! Ike was asked whether he genuinely believed in his own theory and where it stemmed from. He said that he didn't simply sit in a dark room and come up with this theory, nor did he go around looking for it. He said people all over the world had provided the same evidence to back up the theory, including CIA insiders. Apparently, people told him about their experiences of seeing people in positions of power change from a human to a reptilian form and back again in front of their eyes. Okay, number three, Australia doesn't exist? Ah, the internet. It's such an amazing place, isn't it? It's just filled with people with the most interesting theories. And one of them is that Australia just doesn't exist. Okay, this theory may have just been from one person, but it became a big point of contention at one time in 2017. Shelley Florid, who clearly has far, far too much time on her hands, posted a lengthy explanation on Facebook in regards to why Australia is actually, quote, one of the biggest hoaxes ever created. Somehow her post was shared almost 20,000 times. Her status said that all the things that look like proof that Australia exists are actually well-fabricated lies and documents made by the leading governments of the world. And the Australian people? They're all actors and computer-generated personas, part of the plot to trick the world. Floyd, who lives in Stockholm, also wrote that nearly every person at every level is in on the massive scheme, including airline pilots, who have actually only been flying tourists to islands, or in some cases, parts of South America. At this point, I'm more convinced that she was just trolling for attention. At least I hope so for her mental sake. Number 2. NASA and Mars Just because science mistakenly has always referred to Mars as the Red Planet, is no reason for NASA to be deceptive about the planet's real color. Apparently, NASA has been changing Martian pictures, and there are some scientists from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory claiming they can show you the true colors of Mars. 
something the world has been denied so far. Investigation by JPL supposedly shows that there are several indications that NASA is tampering with the color of Mars. NASA for some reason changes the color of Mars from an Earth-like environment into a red, inhospitable environment. JPL scientists, and I'm using the term scientists in the loosest of ways, showed the latest picture of the Martian landscape. It showed a salmon-colored desert with a blue sky. Their explanation on why NASA is changing colors on the Martian landscape is because NASA doesn't want the public to know that Mars has an environment that's extremely hospitable to humans. I mean, even if Mars is the land of milk and honey, how would anyone possibly know to get there? Number 1. The Earth is Flat The Flat Earth Society strikes again, and more powerful than ever. Obviously, as their name suggests, they are convinced that the Earth is a round, flat disk of indefinite dimensions. The geographic North Pole is located in the center of the disk, and somehow the Antarctic lies around the outer edges. Yep, people actually believe this. According to their fact page, yes, they've put some thought into their website, there are several apparent proofs of the planet's flatness. The guys are pretty convinced that the horizon always rising to meet eye level is strong proof, as that wouldn't be able to happen on a globe. But that's not all. The surfaces of bodies of water have been shown to be level, and if the Earth were indeed round, that would not be the case. They also make the case that there's no visible curvature to the horizon, even from airplanes. If you dig deep enough on their websites, you'll even find the belief that there's no full shot of Earth rotating from space. And yes, of course, NASA is faking everything. Apparently, there are resources available that show us that we can't trust the photographic evidence from NASA. Most flat earthers think astronauts have been bribed or coerced into their testimonies. They think that astronauts are just brainwashed, basically. And here's the best for last. Gravity as a theory is false. Objects simply fall. <laughs> okay. Here's what's next. Whenever I go somewhere tropical, I always seem to bring back at least 15 mosquito bites. This is the story of a Pennsylvanian woman who returned from a dream Caribbean holiday with a little rash on her leg. She noticed that the strange rash on her knee still hadn't gone away two weeks after she had gotten home, so she decided to check it out with her doctor.